Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I'm going to show you a very good way to actually plot decision tree because I've seen many problems in the previous version of SK Learn, you know. Uh, at that time, many people were facing uh, various kind of libraries issues when we are actually plotting decision tree. Now, with the recent version of SK Learn, that is 0.21, you know. So recent version of SK Learn with 3.7, that is Python 3.7, you can see that it is 0.21. We'll try to construct a decision tree in just a matter of one line of code. And you'll be able to see how beautifully the decision tree will be actually constructed. So let's go ahead and try to see how to do it. So I've just imported matplotlib.pyplot. Uh, and then I'm basically using a data set which is called as load underscore iris. This is the iris data set. And it is available from sklearn.datasets. And then I'm going to import from sklearn, import tree. And remember guys, the recent version in this 3.7 is somewhere around 0.21. Uh, so you can actually uh, see how we can actually easily con uh, construct the decision tree over here. So I'm going to take this particular uh, data set that is load underscore iris, yeah, you know? And uh, once I show you the iris data set, let me just show you, you know? So iris data set, it is having this kind of values, you know, where the data is like this. And you know, in Iris dataset, we have various features like um, petal length, petal width, you know. So in, based on that, uh, you know, you'll be able to classify uh, petal length, petal width, sepal length, and sepal width. Based on that, you'll be able to classify whether the flower is uh, setosa and the other categories also, right? So if you want to basically see how many categories are there, you just go and click on Iris underscore target. So if I show you over here, you can see that this is three targets are there. And you'll be able to see this particular values, you know. So zero, one, two, and I think everybody knows this, right? Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to quickly import the decision tree, and I'm going to write three dot decision tree classifier random state is equal to zero. Um, then I'm taking the load underscore iris, and if I write iris dot data, this will basically be my x axis, uh, the independent features, and iris dot target is basically my dependent features. Now, after I do this particular fit, you can see that. Quickly, the fit will happen. Uh, once the fit is happened, this classifier is created. All you have to do is that we have to imp uh, we have to basically create a figure. We, ha we have to create a plot. So here I'm giving my figure size. I'm saying that 15 into 10. So this is with respect to the width and the height, right, of the figure itself. And this is the property in my plot level itself. And then I'm going to use a function which is called as tree dot plot underscore tree. In the previous version, suppose if you are in 3.6, this particular function is not there, plot underscore tree, right? Now in the recent version of SK Learn, right, you'll basically find this particular inbuilt function and it is a very, very easy way to actually construct a decision tree by using this. Uh, before we were actually dependent on a lot of things like graph wheels, library, you know, and we used to construct all those decision trees. But now you just have to provide this classifier over here, right, and just give your parameter as field is equal to true. To provide some colors and you can also see different types of parameters you press shift tab and you'll be able to see all the parameters that are there you know feature names max depth and all you can also construct max depth you can give the max depth also till second depth you want or third depth you want. so as soon as you execute this guys uh, don't worry about this particular diagram right now i'll show you what exactly this means but you can see now based on the entropy uh, and the genie impurity you can see how the division has happened right so this basically says that the first feature of the independent feature has been taken. And if it is less than 0.8, it is going to go into this particular leaf node. If it is uh, greater than 0.8, it is going to go with respect to this particular leaf node. And similarly, all the leaf node is being composed till the depth, till the last depth itself, okay? And still, you want some more information in terms of uh, what was this particular value in a proper way you can just try you can also use another inbuilt function which is again present in this particular version which is called as export underscore test text so you, whatever you have imported that is from sql on import three all you have to do is that you have to write three dot export underscore test and just give your classifier over here once you're able to give the classifier how this particular division has actually happened in that same way it will be represented in the form of text so the first division you can see that my third feature is being splitted. So here you can see my third feature was less than 0 0.80. How I'm saying third feature? I'm saying X of three, right? So my third feature is over here. My class is zero. So left hand side, the class is zero. This is my zero class. And on the right hand side, we can continue this particular discussion, right? Similarly, 
Then I have with respect to 1.75, less than 4.95, 1.65. So this is how easily, just by writing two lines of code, you're able to create a decision tree and you are able to understand all this particular text information, which is pretty much amazing, right? Again, guys, a uh, simple way to understand, you just have to use this particular, uh, you have created your library, you just have to use this fit method to create the library itself with your X and Y data. This is my X data, this is my Y data. And then uh, you are actually using this tree dot plot underscore tree, okay? And then you are also using export underscore text. Here you just give the classifier, here you just give the classifier with some properties that you want like field is equal to true if i'm giving field is equal to true i'm getting different different colors over here and with respect to export underscore text you can see all the details so anyhow just try it by yourself amazing way to actually plot a decision entry now you'll not be facing that much problem that you used to face earlier i'm pretty amazing feature in 3.7 with the recent version of sklr so thank you this was all about this particular video i hope you like it please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and bye